Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa, and with the help of my viewers, I am able to provide free pet grooming services for my clients. Today, I am grooming an eight-year-old, 160-pound Newfoundland dog named Sadie, and this is my first time grooming her. Stay tuned until the end of this video if you want to watch me break my back at the same time that I beautify this big beast. It's currently 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm thinking I should just cancel my dinner plans for tonight because I don't think I'm gonna make it. I do not have the help of the cameraman today. I am doing this dog solely on my own. She is 160 pounds. She is very compacted. Something tells me she's not going to stand for this grooming today. And I think I will be here for a minimum of five hours. You stink. This water is not going to penetrate and I am probably going to have to use the watering can again. Right, you big beast? The good thing about Newfoundland is that I don't have to be concerned that this dog is going to be aggressive at any point, even if she doesn't like something, because I have literally never met an aggressive Newfoundland in any shape, way, or form. Even if you force them to do things that they don't want to do, they are still so sweet and gentle. So I can get nice and close, force her to stand, and not have to worry that she's going to spin around and eat my face. Right? Oh, you are most definitely not going to stand. This is going to be fun. I get a lot of comments on my videos about me grooming for free. Yes, I do grow, groom for free. Yes, I am grooming Sadie for free today. Come here. And I can do that because the people that watch my videos, the views that I get, help me to earn a living on social media. And so I can provide my services for free. Okay, so since she's not wet at all, we're going to break out the lovely watering can. I've had people ask me why the watering can makes them more wet. I'm not really sure. I think it's the volume of water is thicker, but I don't really know. There are four canisters of shampoo, so we are starting with canister number one. You're a hairy beast. girl. All right, are we going to stand? Okay, come on. Stay standing, please. Stay. Okay, we're gonna turn to the other side and you're gonna stay standing. Don't sit. Nope, don't do it. Thank you. So I'm going to get another canister of shampoo and I'm going to turn the setting on here to jet. Not jet, actually I'm gonna change it to center, which is kind of like a jet. 
in the hopes that I can get the shampoo down to the skin. Don't shake, stay. It's always hard to get the ears and under the ears to lather well because it's so thick and greasy and then it becomes difficult to try and wash off. Okay, last but not least, lots of brilliant black shampoo. Right? Let's get that in there. Oh, well, at least you're finally wet. It's exciting. I know that a lot of you are curious how Ace is doing after his surgery. I know from watching his video, a lot of people were worried. And he's just fine. He lost all of his teeth. He is now a toothless wonder. Come here. Ah, sorry for pushing you, but I have to. But he recovered just fine from surgery. He did really well. I'm really happy. I'm actually thrilled that they removed all of his teeth because now it's not something I need to worry about because he doesn't let me brush them, so. And he won't chew on bones, so I can't get him to clean them himself. I will do my best to get dogs to stand on their own. I'm not gonna force her to stand. I will just have to rinse her the best I can without making her stand. And the reason for that is because I don't want to injure myself trying to force a 160 pound dog to stand up. So she gets rinsed to the best of my ability. And that's just how it's gonna have to go. So in total, the bath took 35 minutes, not including towel dry. And you're not very drooly. That's nice. Let's see what happens during the blow dry. I sprayed her down in the stuff for dogs when she was on the floor because it was just easier. Now I'm going to give her her happy hoodie. I got a big fluffy head. Now I'm going to put on my mosquito hat netting to prevent hair from going in my eyes because she is shedding a lot. She is low on the grooming table in case she slips. Hopefully she doesn't. I will have to use my belly band at some point, but I'm gonna let her sit for a little bit. It's okay.
Okay, so we finished on the one side. Now I've turned her over. I'm gonna let her lay down for the side because she's really tired. I will have to force her to stand at some point, but right now I'll dry as much as I can with her laying down. So I managed to get her dry with her laying down and I think she was really thrilled about that. I'm going to go through her a little bit with the mat splitter, although she doesn't have very many mats, just to make it a little bit easier to brush, right? I know you're big and you're tired. All of the tools that I use for grooming can be found on my website, girlwiththedogs.com, along with shampoos and sprays if you guys want to check that out it's all there for you including this mat splitter now because sadie has never been shaved before her coat is not damaged which makes it a lot easier for me to groom her Now I'm gonna go through her with my Chris Christensen Coral Brush. You have some really beautiful hair, girl. You really do. It's very compacted. And this spot on her back end, the other side as well. Tried to get it with the dryer, but I couldn't, so I gotta do a good brushing. She's not gonna like it. Nope, nope, nope. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. I know this brush on my store is very expensive. It's $120. It is a really expensive tool for a reason. It's because it's the best flicker brush you can buy especially for jobs like this. If you have a long haired dog, a doodle, a poodle, it doesn't matter, a Pomeranian, th this brush is just, it's great for so many different types of breeds. It does a remarkable job and it really prevents you from killing your arms, your wrists and your hands when you're brushing so much because it does most of the work for you. I honestly cannot live without it. Let's do this tail while you're sitting down. She has some matting underneath her groin. I'm just gonna shave that out with a 10 blade. Okay. And the owners told me that they like her belly to be shaved. Okay, so I'm just gonna shave underneath her with a seven. While she's laying down, I am going to do the nails. Good girl.
and then shave the paws. Stay. No, this isn't very easy to do in this position. just easier to do this when she's laying down. I don't really get to see what I'm doing properly and whether or not it looks even. Stay. Okay, let's do the front ones. You're a good girl, Sadie. Pull away. What the heck, girl? Surprisingly, this giant dog only took me a total of three and a half hours to groom, on my own. That's record time when it comes to a dog of this magnitude. Her coat was in great condition, which is what made this job a lot easier than it could have been. Coming up on Sunday, I have a not-so-happy feline whose groom I actually couldn't complete. I'd be lying if I said her attempt at murder wasn't a bit comical. It's not often that an animal beats me at my own game. But unfortunately, sometimes it does happen. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the stunning Sadie.